This is Marie-Pierre de Lupinet's favorite spot. She loves to sit by herself on the steps of her house and enjoy the view of the Atlantic. It's rare to find a place where you feel truly comfortable, but I feel very safe and secure in this house, completely at home. De Lupinés have lived in the area for two centuries, but the family home is under threat because it's situated in what is known as the Black Zone. In late February, hurricane force winds wreaked havoc in the region. Waves battered along the coastline. The French government decided the only option was to tear down the houses in the Black Zone. Many of them were built illegally on ground vulnerable to flooding. If you pass, pass. Many residents have already left. Garbage is piled up on the sides of the roads. You can't hear the birds singing anymore. All the life has gone. They want to send us away too. We're the only ones left. Among them is Dominique Gorichon. He breeds sheep and runs a farm. The night the storm hit was a nightmare, he remembers. He took cover in the loft of his stable, staying there for five hours. But he couldn't do anything to save his animals. 200 lambs drowned. We heard their screams, but there was nothing we could do. The water levels were rising. One of our dogs was tied up down there, but we couldn't get to him. Poor creature, he was beyond help. Dominique has no idea what will become of his farm. He's very attached to it. His parents also bred sheep here. He's managed to get everything back in order in recent weeks, working round the clock. All for nothing. The government insists he, too, give it all up. I've already told the mayor that I'm going to stay. He threatened me, said they'd come and take me away. Let them try. I won't be scared off. The residents are prepared to put up a fight. They've already founded a protest group and have organized a picnic where they're collecting signatures for a petition against the planned demolition. So far, few politicians have visited the region. Marie-Pierre is berating a member of the district council, Denis Clemenceau. It's inhuman what you're doing with us. It might be normal in China, but not in France. The pressure on the politicians to do something is growing. Initially, Clemenceau tows the government line, but eventually he concedes the decision to demolish even houses that were built completely legally was premature. I regret the residents were not given the chance to recover from the disaster and look into their options. The decision was made over their heads. I cannot imagine that all the houses here will be torn down. The residents feel the politicians have left them in the lurch. No one wants to leave the area. They'll take their case to court if need be. They've already hired a lawyer. Marie-Pierre built her house legally. She could have moved back in immediately after the storm. It left most of the house largely undamaged. I could move back in right away if they hadn't switched off the electricity and water. I could plug the fridge back in and open up the electric shutters, which have been closed for two months now. It's incredible that they want to tear down a house that's practically undamaged. For now, she has no choice but to leave her house shut up. But her protest has paid off. The government has announced it will review the situation case by case.